Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Building on WordPress. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video we are going to take a look at this nifty little tool here called Markup. Now, if you are getting into building websites for a living or you have been doing this for some time, there is one thing that you will come to find out and that is your clients will always have feedback. And for years, I collected that feedback in any way that the client wanted to send it to me and it always ended up with random emails here and there. I'd have to search through different dates in the inboxes to find who who sent me what so that we can incorporate those into the website. It was always super, super vague like we see here. Large picture on homepage needs to move down a bit. Change headline to this is an amazing website. Well, which headline is that? Is that the top headline? That's probably what you mean, but is that what you mean? Change headline to we can build anything. Oh, okay, is that the top headline or are these, is that the second headline or is that, one of the bottom headlines, what are you What are you talking about there? Capitalize the S, which S are we capitalizing here? It would get really confusing. And now you can make do with something like this. You can always circle back with the client. Maybe you can decipher what they were trying to explain here and you can incorporate that feedback, no problem. But a tool like Markup takes all of the guesswork out of the equation and speeds up the process of going from staging to production. So let's take a look at how this works from start to finish. Here we have Markup and we're gonna go ahead and create a free account. So we'll click on sign up. We'll go ahead and wire this up with one of our demo accounts here and we will click next. So now what it's gonna do is walk us through the onboarding process. So we'll go ahead and put in our name here and a password and click sign up. And the first thing that you'll notice is once the account is created, we get a workspace. And we're gonna go ahead and name this workspace. Maybe it's your business name, something like that. And here we have it. Now, the really cool thing about this is if you're like me and you do web design, but you also do a lot of other creative services for clients, you can upload photos here, you can upload ads here, you can upload PDFs here, whatever it is, and have the client comment and provide feedback. But it does a really great job handling websites and it actually pulls through a live link of the web page. So as you make changes, those are all reflected. So let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. If we were to jump over to our demo site here and we have, you know, all of this design on the home page and we grab our URL and we jump back to our markup page. If this were for a client website, I would come in here, I'd paste the URL and I would click go. What it's doing is it's going out, it's grabbing all the website content and it's framing that into our markup workspace here. We can then title this so it'll pull through the name of the website. But if I wanted this to say something like, uh, you know, BOWP building on WordPress client review one, right? Something like this, right? Where we're organizing the name of what this thing is. Now the client can see those things. So just make sure you keep that in mind. And you'll notice because this is brand new, there are zero comments on this currently. So we can then click this share button. We get a URL where we can copy this and send it to our clients. Something great that they've released within the last few months is anyone with the link has access. You used to have to like create an account. Now you just provide your name when you click on the link and your clients can get in there. No problem to start making comments. So what does it look like for your clients when they log in? Well, they're going to see something like this here. And you'll notice this on the right hand side is our website through and through. This is exactly what you'd see if you were on the actual staging site here. And it is pulling through a live preview of this website. So your clients can now go through and you'll notice that when I take my mouse here and I click, I'm adding a pin. And then with that pin, there is a box here, an editor, and I can add a comment. I can actually attach files or videos to that comment. And then this will post into our active list of tasks to do. The nice thing about collecting feedback this way is that even if a lot of feedback comes in from a lot of different parties, it's being organized and logged for you to easily work through for the client to easily review and see where things are at. It's all around a great tool. Now, if you wanted to navigate the website, like let's say we wanted to click on one of our navs up here, you'll notice that we can't. Clicking on it, we're leaving a comment. And that's because we need to jump into browse mode. We are currently in comment mode, so we're gonna jump over to browse mode, click this here, and now we get a real mouse. And you'll notice we can use that mouse to then click through to other areas of the website. Once we're on another page, an internal page where we wanna leave more comments, we switch back over to comment mode, and then we can click and we can say, don't like this headline, please replace with WordPress videos. Post, 
So you'll notice here now with that posted, we now have in our active tab over here on the left hand side, we have the page that the comment was left on. We can truncate the pages if you have many pages with many comments. We have the number of comments that are on that page and then we have the comment itself. So in this case, we can see that Josh Donnelly left us the comment. It was left a few seconds ago, which over time this would say one day ago, two weeks ago, whatever it is. Um, and then the comment itself, which is really great. Um, you'll notice there's also a number associated with that so you can easily match them up. So if we were to then leave another one and let's say we do it on the home page we'll jump over here to our home page we'll go back into comment mode and say change this from uh, destination to your one stop shop something like that and we'll say change to boom so change to one stop shop and post you'll notice that is now listed as item number two and it is item number two in our list over here You'll also notice that it shows that this was on the primary page, the home page, and this one was on the resources page. So really nice how it organizes feedback. The great thing is too, let's say you disagreed with something or you needed a little more clarity about something, you can then hop into this and say, yeah, this has changed to one-stop shop, but why not remove the hyphens? and I can post this. And now we have a comment thread going on where we can go back and forth. So you'll notice here if we add the at symbol and we begin typing one of our client's names, as long as they are a part of the project, this will tag them in this comment so that they are sure to see it. You can edit comments like I'm doing here. You can click save. And now that posts the comment here on the original task item, which is really great. Finally, what you can do as you're working through these things, let's jump back over to our website in our editor here. And now we're doing this for our clients. We say one stop shop, something like that. We'll go ahead and save. And when we come back over to markup here, we can mark this as resolved for our client. And when they log back in to check and the page is refreshed, you'll notice that it actually pulls a fresh frame through and now it says one stop shop here. And that active item has been removed from our task list on the left hand side. You can also collapse the task list on the left hand side if need be, which is kind of nice while you're working through things or reviewing content on page. And just for the sake of historical tracking, which I find this really nice when there's a discrepancy and some changes changes that have taken place, you can always go over to your resolve tabs. And if someone said, hey, why'd you change this to one stop shop? You can actually say, well, there was a comment here left three minutes ago that says change to one stop shop. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful. If you have other tools that you're using in your builds or have questions that you'd like me to respond to, please leave those in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.